Hello everybody out there and welcome back to Boomchild's channel for StarCraft 2 King of the Hill replays and live commentaries. Today what we got here is a video that was sent in by uh, one Mr. Harry Hull. He was in a couple of the earlier videos and he's playing Omnipotent here. Uh, looks like we have a Terran versus Terran. And it looks like this is just a uh, practice game seeing as we got Green versus Teal and we're playing on Scrap Station here. I would like to go ahead and announce that you will notice, oh, as I minimize this, you don't know. Uh, this is the uh, first broadcast I'm doing from my new broadcasting rig. I just got all of my um, my parts in the mail, put the computer together, and I am now going to be broadcasting these in uh, high res, ultra settings, and it should be amazingly good for you guys to watch. So this being a Terran versus Terran on Scrap Station, I'm guessing we're probably going to see a fair amount of air units as there is a very small gap here. Um, and we're probably also going to see Supply Block. No, I'm just joking. Um, but we did get a little bit of Supply Block there. Looks like we're going to wall off the bottom here. He's going to do uh, usually just three bunkers along here is all you need. He's going to go uh, Supply Depot, Bunker, Bunker. Or, I'm sorry, Bunker, Barracks, Barracks, um... We're watching this. The beginning of the game is usually pretty slow and annoying. I actually have not seen this game yet. I want to test my live casting abilities. I'm going to have a little bit of a quicker gas from Harry Hall up here. Um, this was actually sent to me as Scratch, a.k.a. Harry Hall. Harry Hall is quite the disgusting name to say over and over and over. Um... But for anybody who was watching my earlier games, you'll notice that this is a lot, lot smoother. There's a lot less jumpiness. Um, for the tech nerds out there that want to know what I have, it is... Uh, I got myself an AMD uh, Phenom 2 6-core processor. It's uh, running at 2.8 gigahertz. I haven't overclocked it because, to be honest, I don't really need to. Um, I'm running with 16 gigabytes of PC 1600 DDR3 RAM. So I can pretty much multitask anything I want. Uh, I got two uh, 500 gigabyte hard drives running at 7200 RPMs. Uh, one for running programs and the other one simply just dedicated for recording. Uh, like I predicted a little bit, we got some a little bit of a ground force coming out here. Looks like looks like Omnipotent is going to go for a fairly fast expansion at the three four minute mark here. Let's see if he's actually going to put that down. He's placing that SUV like he wants to. Thinking about it, thinking about it. It looks like he's just waiting until he gets to that 400 minerals. And there's the 400 and there it goes. There's the command center. So Harry Hole is looking like he is just building up his ground forces. He's going to put down the second barracks. Get the second gas up and running with some supply depots. And he may be going for a tech route. Maybe some factories and starports off of one base to try and uh, try and break a wall that's going to come in here. Um, anyways, back to the uh, awesome computer I have. I also have a Radeon 6850 1 gig uh, video card that is connected via HDMI connection to my monitor. So uh, this game is very sexy. I tested it out a little bit today. I was able to play multiple 4v4s in ultra settings with absolutely no frame rate loss below. 45 in-game frames per second. I'm going to let that settle in for a second. 45 frames. On my old computer, I would get 5 frames. So I am quite the happy man right now. Looks like Harry Hole is going to be scouting a little bit, see if there's any SCVs hidden in his base. Uh, potentially thinking about putting down another... Putting down his expansion, but actually it doesn't look like he's going to. He's going to be floating that factory off. He's going to use that factory for scout. While Omnipotence is building the tech lab on his factory, I'm going to assume, and I shouldn't really assume, but I sh I'm going to assume that that may turn into a starport or it's going to be siege, mo siege mode. Uh, engineering bay finishing here. Looks like he's not doing anything with that yet. Let's go to the resources and see how we're doing here. Looks like the food is identical. And we got a transfer coming up here for Omnipotence, so... He's going to get that second base up and running quite quickly. Got a supply depot going up here in the corner for Harry Hole that's going to be used for scouting purposes. And we got scouts basically all along the map. Looks like both players are just content to uh, keep an eye on what their opponent is doing and 
and just kind of go from there. It looks like the factory is actually landing on the island. And we got four bar three barracks now for Harry Hole along with that starport, which is going to be making the classic Vikings to get some air dominance in the game. Got a bunker. Very, very advanced bunker there. Looks like he is going to stop any single unit from scouting, which it looks like Harry Hole is actually going to send out here. Oh, he's stopping him right at that Zolnaga Watchtower, so that's a good spot for that. And while I was talking there, looks like he is actually... Harry Hole, Teal Protoss, is actually going to put up that command center. There's about three minutes behind the, uh, the Omnipotent command center. And look at all of those hockeys. Hot dang. There's a lot of hockeys. Oh, the factory is actually going to land in the base. What is he doing? He's going to make Hellions. Does he see this? Omnipotent does not know it's there. It's just in that little fog of war. So this could actually be a pretty uh, pretty devastating move if he's able to get those Hellions out and get them into that worker line. It's going to take about three Hellions to one-shot those SCVs that have 45 life. As you see here, they do 14 damage to ground. So actually, it's going to take four Hellions because 3 times 14 is only 42. I was thinking of the Blue Flame Hellions, which do does take three shots to kill one one light armored unit. And then we got the expansion coming up here. He's going to go for the Orbital Command, and we got the Orbital Command down here also. Alright, so, looks like we have one player that's going to concentrate mostly on the bio, going with the three tech labbed barracks. And the other player is going to go with more of like huge tank and slight bio. And it looks like I, I up for a second. it looks like I missed the harassment. Okay, so we got one, two, three, three going down, and ooh, a lot of them are really weak. Okay, looks like we only got three or four. Count those. We got one there, one there. I don't know, actually, what I thought he got. He only got one so far. So he's going to lose all of that. Hunter. We got infantry upgrades coming up for Omnipotent, and we got a couple medevacs and marauders coming out for uh, for Harry Hole here. Looks like he's going to be concentrating more or less on the the drops with those medevacs. And the I believe, is already finished. Yes, it is for Harry Hole. Um, as they are transitioning here to the mid game, I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, plug what I'm going to be doing. Um, in the near future, I'm going to go back to casting live games of King of the Hill matches for gold and platinum level gamers. I'm going to be looking at doing about two to three days a week, an hour or two, I'm going to say. I'm going to set up a channel and do a job job coming in here with 16 supply worth of for support. The, the uh, Marines are not engaging. They ran up, stopped. It looks like it was good enough to get him out of there, though, but they did clean up quite a bit of units there. It looks like Omnipotent is now up to 14 units lost, almost double of what Harry Hole has, but he has had that expansion for a longer period of time, so his benefit from the expansion is just a little bit higher. Uh, as his supply is also about 30 higher than Harry Hole, so Harry Hole is going to have to rely more strongly upon the drop play as he does not have quite the force to deal with the siege tanks that are being pushed. And it looks like he was able to salvage that bunker that was there because he did not need it anymore. Uh, the Marauders did look like they took two or three shots from those siege tanks, so they were actually able to back up and get out of there before any very ill will to fell down. And we have some Vikings from Omnipotent. They're going to head north across the map up to Harry Hole's main base. We're going to scout that out so they can see. Have some scan coming down to check out the main base. And the Vikings are going to go around. But there is no anti-air defense at all. He's going to get a full scout of this base. This is invaluable information that he's picking up right here. 
Uh, he is going to see the expansion, see that that mineral line is extremely saturated. They're actually going to land here. They're going to work on the mineral line. They're taking one, two, three, four, five, six, potentially, maybe seven, closer to a dozen, maybe. Units, you know, the SUVs going down as these marauders come in there, but they cannot shoot up those They have to shoot the ground. Those Vikings are going to take off. They did a very, very nice job of harassing there. Check the units now. We got 57 SUVs for Omnipotent to 40. Only 40 for Harry Hole, so he is very, very behind. As it's easily shown here with a 2,000 to 500. That is quite as my phone beeps. I hope that didn't come over on the microphone. Gonna have to silence that so we don't get text messages during broadcast. Looks like those Vikings are going ahead and scout the island, see what's going on. He's going to find that factory that's been landed there as the scout. And we got another drop that looks like it's waiting here to go in. Gonna check some APM here. Looks like we got a fair amount of APM. Oh, there's a Four! 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 That he sent in because of the air support superiority of those Vikings. Uh, they were able to fight that off and get rid of those medevacs. And he was able to keep six marines alive. So that was a very, very fruitful defense and a very good attack because he was able to get two of those siege tanks. Now it's about this time in the game. It looks like both players' main base is starting to get close to mined out. We have less than 500 minerals on each of the patches. And the expansions are about a third of the way used. So it's about this time that if you're thinking about the longer term game, you're going to want to go ahead and expand again. Or you're going to want to end the game as quickly as you can. Looks like you have a Hellion force here that is grouping up. And those are not blue flame Hellions that do not have the internal free igniter upgrade. So those are going to take a little bit of hits to take care of the, uh, the light units. But we also have the Vikings sitting here in the middle of the map again. So right now, Omnipotent does have a very, very good board control sense as 